Я с большим удовольствием приглашаю для выступления господина Фабриса Родригес. Пожалуйста, он расскажет нам о своем опыте платформа One Atlas, которая соединяет снимки из космоса и решения на Земле. Наверное, это как раз к вопросу нашего китайского коллеги. Пожалуйста, Лиз. Thank you very much. Um, good morning, everybody. So um, we've seen some great satellite manufacturing this morning. Um, as you know, Habus already uh, is on the market since a long time now. With a full constellation of satellites, but uh, the big question is what you raised a little bit this morning is how we provide access from an, uh, to hold this data very easily uh, and very quickly to, to our customer. So today I, I'd like to introduce you to the One Atlas uh, platform that we developed and launched uh, recently. So basically, as you may know, for a long time, uh, accessing data was not so easy. Even with, if we developed a long time ago what we call a geostore, an online store that our customer can access to and, and, and buy data. But because we know, uh, we know that you need reliable and trust, uh, trustly uh, providers, uh, uh, we also uh, need quick and easy access, we decided to develop this uh, platform called One Atlas, where basically you're going to access all the Airbus portfolio uh, easily and also um, having access to some um, analytics to do some, some, uh, some analysis on the data and some uh, services. So it's a, a all in one place shop uh, available commercially for all our customers around the world. Talking about data, um, for sure we, you've seen that Airbus has a full constellation. Today we've got 14 uh, satellite in the constellation. Uh, and um, as you can see, a uh, full range of resolution from 22 meter with DMC, a radar uh, constellation with three satellite now uh, that we have launched uh, PAS uh, last year, which is, will be fully oper which is operational, but uh, will be seen in the constellation pretty shortly. Uh, the one on spot six and seven, uh, well used in Russia, uh, is, is already there with 1.5 meter. We launched uh, during summer a satellite uh, called Vision One, uh, 0.9 meter, uh, fully embedded in the constellation. Playand 1A and 1B also available uh, in the constellation with 0.5 meter uh, resolution. And the great news is next year, we're gonna launch uh, two new satellites. And this is the beginning of a new constellation called Playan Neo. So it would be four identical satellites, 0.3 meter resolution, uh, with a revisit capability of intraday two times per day, uh, with a normal, uh, nominal lifetime of 10 years at least, launch in 2020. And something very important also, uh, it's fully funded by Airbus. So it's the funding of this constellation is private for commercial use. So no state home on that one. Uh, for sure the French government will have access to it, but like all the other customers. If you look at, at uh, what we're gonna provide, the 30 centimeter resolution, this is a simulation over Paris. Um, we're gonna add two more spectral bands to our, to our data uh, with deep blue, uh, blue, green, red, red edge, and near infrared. So the play and neo constellation uh, uh, will be complete with that. So deep blue uh, for better application around bathymetry uh, to look into uh, water bodies uh, would be a, a great addition to, to the constellation for maritime application. And the red edge focused mainly on agriculture, uh, but on, not only, but for crop and vegetation studies, that will be a big plus in our constellation. One of the key feature of this constellation also uh, will be this agility of the, of the constellation. Um, we'll be able to capture mono but not only stereo and three stereo data will be captured along the way. Uh, with a large swath of 14 uh, kilometer um, to be able to capture 
a lot of data uh, during the day. And if we look at the global capacity, uh, up to two million square kilometer every day will be collected. And in a single pass, we'll be able to collect 7,500 square kilometer uh, in, in, uh, in one pass. And uh, when you look at, at two pass per day, uh, as we're gonna have a full constellation of two first and four uh, uh, two years later, we're gonna be able to capture 15,000 square kilometer per day in two pass. So it's a large amount of data will be collected and directly uh, available into the One Atlas platform uh, as it is co collected uh, every single day. So if I come back to the One Atlas platform, uh, that include imagery for sure, and the Plia Neo will be there with all the other sensor that we already have in our constellation, uh, available 24-7, um, with uh, uh, the fresh data. So basically, uh, it will be a selection of the best image. Um, right now, we've got five years of archive at 0.5 meter. Uh, and the, the, the type of image that we occur every day by Herbus is, uh, and we select into the one atlas, is 15% cloud uh, maximum over regular area and 25% cloud over difficult area with an, a 30 degree incident angle for both areas. This is for pl uh, Playad. For Spot, uh, we, uh, we've got a selection of Spot imagery acquired every day worldwide since 2017 uh, in order to be, provide a full coverage over the year uh, per year. So the base map uh, also is, is one of the layer available uh, uh, into the One Atlas the One Atlas base map, where it's fresh data uh, over the, the, the land mass uh, updated every single year. And we've got also uh, a war dam that you saw just before. Analytics would be the third component uh, where uh, you, you're gonna be able to uh, directly identify um, objects like we've seen before, uh, change, um, measure some detec change detection also, so right now, today, we've got a chain detection algorithm. We've got car detection, truck detection, and ship detection. We're gonna add soon uh, a plane detection into the, into the platform. And um, uh, just to let you know that this platform is updated every 10 weeks. So we've got a cycle of development, which is uh, very short. Uh, when customer is asking for new uh, features, we uh, uh, develop that uh, within the 10 weeks period, if possible and we put that uh, online. So it's a subscription-based uh, platform, and every customer will benefit from the new feature every time we release them uh, onto the platform. For sure, this platform is not only this UI uh, available for our customer. We've got a full set of APIs that uh, can be used by uh, customer and partner all over the world to be able to search uh, information into the catalog to view them uh, in streaming or to download them directly on their computer or directly into software like photo mode uh, to be able to uh, process uh, the, the data. But not, not only that, uh, you're gonna be able to task directly the satellite from your environment, um, uh, which is already uh, feasible through the geo store, but now we give access to uh, through this API to hire a customer to be able to uh, request imagery. Soon release the Pixel for analytics. Uh, basically, this will be a new format uh, for you to process the data online by streaming. So no need to download any more the data, just streaming uh, the Pixel you need. And uh, it's a pay-per-use uh, mode. So basically, you're gonna pay only the Pixel you're using. Uh, so that's a big change also in the business model. And the analytics toolbox will give you access to all the processing function that we have uh, in, in, into the, the platform. So in addition to that, we uh, develop and we give you the capability to access our, our SDK for mobile application. And if you want later on, I can show you on my mobile phone that you can access right away, all the imagery from Airbus right there. And. Um, I can invite you to go to, into our uh, developer portal, which is free uh, for sure. Uh, 
Uh, so you can access there, access the API, uh, get access to all the documentation here to develop your own application based on this API. So instant access on imagery, uh, you've seen that you can access through a web browser, but now we've got mobile app also that give you access to the imagery where people can search, browse, buy directly uh, from the phone, download from the phone, and pretty soon even task from the phone some, uh, some satellite imagery. So uh, this can be very useful for people who are in, uh, in mobile, uh, we say, environment, people who are traveling a lot, and also from uh, task force uh, that are on the, on the, on the field uh, want to access imagery right away uh, with uh, just a fingertip. So another example here is the integration of uh, the access to the One Atlas platform and Airbus imagery uh, through photo mode directly. And I've got a small video right here. So this is an example of what uh, Rackers develop here inside the photo mode where you can access directly uh, our One Atlas imagery within the tool. Um, that's the first version of the uh, a plugin uh, that uh, is available or will be available in one of the next release of, of the Photomod platform. So you can see here that the image is uh, up uploaded um, and uh, that they're going to focus on where we are at the moment. So this is the hotel where we are today. And uh, you can activate or deactivate the layer, and you can see here the layer of, of one atlas is available uh, directly into the photo mode application. So processing is right away uh, available here without asking uh, one of the distributor to access the data, buying the data, uh, uploading the data into the software, and, and then processing. So it's much more quicker, a direct access to, to the platform here. On. I can have a mouse. Let me come back. Uh, could you could you help me here? <laughs> I can't have the mouse anymore. Oh yeah, it's right. Could you close the video, please? and come back on the PowerPoint. Yeah, thank you. So that was one of the example here. Um, so you've seen key benefit of one at last and uh, of, of quick and easy access to all the imagery that Airbus is providing. And remember that you've got access through Airbus also to some satellite partner. Um, so you discussed earlier about Russian satellite. They are not in our constellation today, but we've got other uh, partners around the world that uh, uh, we've got agreement with, and we give access to, to their uh, satellite uh, through our platform. So it's a pay only what you need uh, kind of usage. Um, so uh, with minimum uh, um, area, uh, which is much smaller than in the past, uh, you can just buy uh, one square kilometer, and you're going to pay only for that. It's fresh data. Uh, every single day, we are collecting data all over the world, and it's uploaded directly into, into the platform. And it's flexible, uh, because you can access through the web, you can access through your phone, or directly from the application that you guys develop and you are using on a ba daily basis. I encourage you all to... Uh, try today one atlas and you can go on this hyperlink or one atlas .com, and request for a free trial which is valid for 30 days uh, you're going to have a great view on all the features i just show you and uh, thank you all any questions Hold on. 
Можно первый вопрос ко всем участникам дискуссии. А презентации ваши свободны? Можно скачать или носят какой-то закрытый характер? Презентацию? Yeah, it's, it's Спасибо. Еще один вопрос уже после. Ага. Видео можно включить сейчас, посмотреть. No, it's all right. Насколько я знаю, в Европе существует давно и создана, и модернизируется, и расширяется инфраструктура пространственных данных. Вот вы как-то встроены в эту европейскую систему или в инфраструктуру пространственных данных Франции со своими сервисами и услугами? Или вы как бы отдельно это существует, как разные технологические платформы, разные цифровые платформы? Или все-таки эта связь вот путем API, она осуществляется? Yeah, uh, you're right. There, there's several initiatives in, in Europe uh, to develop platform. There's one from a European Space Agency called Copernicus, and we are one of the big data providers for this Copernicus program. Um, they are using our API uh, also to access data. Um, there's some other, uh, what we call DIAS. Uh, there's four, four consortium in Europe that are providing under the ESA Uh, requirements uh, access to data um, and we are part of it also um, and all these people are, are collect, um, accessing our data our catalog through the API I've just show you so we are part of it for sure спасибо коль скоро вы упомянули программу Коперник мы как бы знаем, что там происходит. А вот спутники, которые запускаются в рамках этой программы, серии Sentinel и другие, они используются в вашем сервисе, в ваших приложениях? No, I mean, uh, I mean the, the, the Copernicus program is the European program. We provide data for them to use. But we are not, uh, on the other way, accessing the data for commercial use. Uh, I mean, the data from other providers uh, within the, the Copernicus program. So it's it's available for the European community only, uh, and and uh, we uh, we just provide uh, information there. Спасибо, коллеги. Вопросы еще к господину Фабрису, пожалуйста. А обычно у вас была модель, когда у вас были мировые дистрибьюторы, ну, региональные дистрибьюторы, и э, директор receiving station, станции приема. Вот эта программа One Atlas, она не входит в противоречие с э, моделью эксклюзивных дистрибьюторов по региону? Thank you for asking. I was waiting for that type of question. Uh, not at all. To, to be honest, um, um, even more Uh, we've seen that the, all the one atlas sales that we've done uh, since the launch uh, beginning of the summer has been done through the, the partners. So uh, we are counting on our partners to uh, integrate, resell, and give access to their customer to the one atlas platform. So that's why API is made for. Uh, Rikers uh, did a good job integrating the APIs for the, the photomode community to access our data. For sure, there's a subscription model in the back, uh, but we are not accessing directly the customer. So today we are not targeting Russian customer directly, for example. Uh, it's only for partners, and the partners are resetting the, the One Atlas uh, platform to, to the community. And еще вопрос. А сколько у вас уже подписчиков? How many subscriptions do you have for this platform? Uh, to, to be honest with you, uh, the launch was done this summer. We don't have a lot at the moment, uh, and uh, I don't have all the figures in mind. I know that we, we sold a large coverage to, to, uh, through, through my network. I'm in charge of the network, so I don't have direct sales um, uh, information here. But it's just a starting. Um, all our customer and partner need to uh, cope with this new model of consumption, so it's, it's a change also in their process, so it would take a little bit of time. Спасибо. Да, пожалуйста.
Uh, thanks for your presentation. I think it's a very important uh, topic. My question is about detection, change detection. I wonder, I wonder you, I wonder to you to give me more uh, details. Uh, first is about uh, data resource. Uh, if you want to uh, uh, get uh, uh, change detection. Uh, or data source just uh, from your company or uh, the world uh, satellite image can use the first uh, question. The second is about accuracy uh, we can get uh, now. The third is about uh, uh, the work time. Uh, for example, uh, if I wanted to uh, get one kilometer, uh, one kilometer uh, change detection, we should uh, uh, how many times? Thank you. Thank you for the question. So um, the data that is, is used in change detection, so first we've got several algorithms in change detection into the platform. We've got one developed by us uh, as, as a first step, and we've got one developed by a partner. So in the platform, we integrate partners' algorithm uh, within the platform to, uh, to leverage better uh, processing. Um, and. Uh, so if, if you guys are, are uh, willing to push us some good things uh, based on uh, revenue sharings, we, uh, we integrate them and qualify first them into the platform. So the data that is used uh, in the back is, is mostly Spot and Playad, and tomorrow it will be Playad Neo uh, data to increase the, the, the capacity and the accuracy of the detection. Right now, with the algorithm we've got, we've got uh, pretty good results in terms of um, um, rate of, of uh, detection. Um, and uh, along the way, because it's using cloud technology and artificial intelligence, so the more uh, uh, the algorithm are learning, the more precise we are. Uh, so we teach them uh, in many, many different cases all over the world. So we are not specific to one country or one type of, uh, of detection, but we are uh, trying to, to detect everywhere, in a desert, in, in Greenland, in uh, ocean, in everywhere. So we, uh, we are pretty happy about, about that. Um, so um, that, uh, hopefully that answered your question. Thank you.